Nievi from Evi's Creation. That's, well, I think I might have missed that beginning. So it's Nievi from Evi's Creation and Sweet Songbird. And you can hear the music. It's a uh, <laughs> good old Macklemore um, search out. So you've heard it before. The reason why I'm playing the song is because today's hangout on air is all about thrift shops and thrifting. And that's kind of one of my favorite things to do. So it makes me very excited. Um, two things that I love from thrift shops that I always look for, that I can never stay away from, that I probably have too many of, but don't tell my husband and we'll be okay. <laughs> uh, or Erica, because she's always calling me on it. But um, yeah, so two things. Number one, well, actually, there are three things. I guess like, the first thing I should say are Macy's jars. I mean, if you look behind me over there, there's like five of them alone on that one shelf. And they're all vintage. Yes. But um, the other two things that I spend way too much looking for are trays. You know, like your good old serving trays, tea trays, whatever you want to call them. That's it. This. this one's huge and hideous at the moment. <laughs> um, and this one is just the one I'm working on today for you guys. I restarted it, um, didn't prime it because I wanted it to sort of show through a little bit um, and look a little bit beachy and like driftwood. So the wood colors, you know, when it shows through, I didn't want to prime it because it had been too stark of a, of a, you know, paint job there, I guess I could say. Um, the other one that I just did for the boys' room the other day, um, I haven't posted yet, so you guys are the first to see it, <laughs> um, is this one. And, um, serving tray. I put. Uh, I went ahead and, and uh, gave it about four coats. I, I primed this one first. Gave it about four coats of uh, Americana's, um, they call it Americana navy blue. And then I took a um, 12 by 12 piece of scrap with, uh, scrapbook paper and mod podged it on there. And I freehanded the anchor. Which is why it's a little crooked. But, you know, I like freehanded. And then I, um, yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I get it close. There's um, red twine on it, uh, just because the, I don't know, it makes it look a little more nautical. If you follow the blog, you know I've been doing the boys' room, and the boys um, asked for a nautical-inspired room. So the, everything in their room is nautical-themed at the moment. And I'm kind of starting to carry the theme throughout the house, which I didn't plan on doing, but now I can't stop. I'm kind of obsessed with beach decor and nautical-themed decor, so that's why I've decided to do this tray for the formal living room. Another thing you can do, just really quickly before we go continue, um, is this. Um, it's just a little wooden bowl. And I attached a wooden candlestick to it with some epoxy. Uh, no, actually, I used Gorilla Glue. Epoxy is when it's glass, sorry. Some Gorilla Glue. And I clamped it, made sure it was, I put weight on it, looks a whole bunch of heavy books, so that it would stay and now it won't go anywhere. You could do that with something like this and turn it into a fruit bowl holder, I don't know, anything you like. Um, instead of freehanding, if you don't feel comfortable freehanding, um, you can use um, some stencils, and I'm pretty sure Cutting Edge, um, all the uh, people over there are going to yell at me now, especially Michelle, who is the one that does all the social media, so she will likely see this on, uh, <laughs> on one of my social media sites. But um, I forgot to clean my stencil the last time I used it. So there's paint all over it. But you can still wash it off, so I'm going to go do that. So you can use it um, to add something to the bottom of it, or the middle, or wherever. This I'm going to use on the very large, hideous tray, and just put it all over the place. Because this is going to go in my daughter's room. And my daughter's room has the, again, I didn't send this one either, the very large Zinnia stencil, and medium and the small one throughout the whole room. So that's how I'm going to tie it all in. The other thing, uh, if I don't drop it, that I said I used before are frames. And what I do with the frames um, is I turn them into chalkboard. So as you can see, this is chalkboard. I took some chalkboard paint and I directly, uh, I painted directly on the glass. Now, if you don't have the glass on, sometimes you know glass breaks. And you can get actually discounts when you go to like TJ Maxx or whatever because they don't have the glass. You just you can put some foam board and paint the foam board, or I've done that. Or you can take a piece of plywood and paint the plywood and mount it inside of the frame. And you have yourself a chalkboard. And I simply decorate them. I usually paint them. I didn't paint this one because I like the color of it. And it goes with the, uh, the color of that shelf that's behind me over there. This is where it, that's, that's where it lives, this, this uh, chalkboard. 
And um, that is a little flower. I think I nailed it. I don't know if I apologize for that. <laughs> but um, I added some flowers and uh, just a cute little touch. And it's something that was fairly inexpensive. I think the frame cost me a dollar. And most of these trays were either $3, $2. And the big one I actually got um, half off because it was the first week of every month, which is what my thrift shop does, half off week. So I got it for a dollar, which is awesome. So let's continue uh, with this. This is going to be for the living room. Now I'm painting this in the Art uh, Americana's with frame turquoise. I don't know if you can see that. And it's, you can't really see the color that well because of the lighting in here, but it is the prettiest teal. Um, I don't know if you can see it now. It's like the prettiest soft teal. It's exactly what it sounds like with spring turquoise. <laughs> so um, I'm going to continue painting this. Now when I'm done with this, um, painting it, which I probably won't do on air here, but I will definitely post on the blog later so you guys can see it. Um, it's going to take forever for this to dry fully. And you really have to let it dry in between coats. Otherwise, um, it gets very just messy and you'll feel the brush strokes and you don't want that. So let each layer, each coat dry fully before applying the next. Um, but what I'm going to do when I'm done painting is I'm going to, um, I found this really cool image on um, Karen's site, uh, very, uh, this, sorry, thegraphicsfairy.com. <laughs> So um, I'm going to go on her site, and I found this really cool, I think it's called a conch. You guys remember, English is not my first language, so I forget words sometimes. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, I think called a conch. It's a very complex looking seashell, essentially. <laughs> um, you know the ones that when you put up to your ear, you hear supposedly the, uh, the ocean? I think that's called a conch. I don't know. But anyway, there's an image of that, the vintage uh, seashell image, on her site. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer it via the transfer method that is on my blog. Um, if you go on the blog, sweetsongbird.evyscreations.com, you um, can just search under. Um, I think it, it was uh, I think it was for the Love Conquers All, or you can even Google that the Love Conquers All wooden block. Um, I did it there. I also did it um, with the uh, Love is Patient, Love is Kind Valentine's Day block that I made. And it's simply almost like using carbon copies. Um, I essentially, I have to paint all over myself because I'm trying to paint this on air. Um, <laughs> I essentially take the image and print it off reverse. Um, so it, you, you just click on mirror image and you click it on so that it prints it backwards as if it was, you were looking in a mirror, the mirror image. So um, when you do that, then I take I take the uh, once it's printed out, I take it and I lie it flat because now now the, the image is the right way when you lie it flat, right? You have to wait completely. This has to be completely dry so before you do that. You're gonna put push it down on there and then you take a pencil. It has to be sharpened pretty well, um, otherwise if it's dull, it won't work as well. I don't know. And you just basically um, scratch the image on. Does that make sense? With the pencil, you go and, and you um, color where all the lines are, and it'll transfer the ink, the black ink from the printer, very lightly onto your surface. This works on wood. Um, it works on uh, paper. So, like if you've covered a, a block of wood and scrap of paper, you can transfer it as well. And then you can take something like if, you, if you're not, if you have don't have steady hands, um, which in the beginning I didn't. I did not use thin paint brushes for my life. So I relied on Sharpie for paint markers. And um, that's how I did everything. And now that I've gotten better <laughs> at painting, um, I use the thin, thin brush. Um, Eco Art has really, really good brushes. Um, and they have this really thin one that I write everything with. So then I'll go back and fill it in whatever color I want. I think for this one, I'll probably do a, um, maybe a gray, something like this. Uh, I can get it out of there. Something like this. Uh, and then distress it. I'm going to take the sanding, uh, sanding sponge and just distress it in the corners and the edges and over the image a little bit so that it, um, it fades a little bit. So it, it looks like it's 
been weathered, like it looks almost like I said, like driftwood. Um, it's old and you know it's been out in the stand forever. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do that with it and um, to seal it. Now I personally like to wax everything when it's wooden. However, you don't have to do that. You can just take some um, spray um, the clear coat ink Krylon, and I'm sure Vasilium makes it. You just spray it on. It's clear and it protects your uh, paint job and it also protects your transfer onto there. So um, yeah, that's that's all I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna continue this and I will post it later on tonight so you guys can see the finished product. But I hope you've had fun hanging out with me and um, hopefully I give you some ideas for your uh, <laughs> for your own decorating and um, yeah, hopefully you had fun and I'll see you guys back here next month for our next Hang Out on Air. Alright guys, bye.